This is Mike Farley. We're going to be cooking on the big green egg. I am not an expert, but I'm trying to share some knowledge that I picked up over cooking the last few years. So we're going to look at barbecue tips. Cooking asparagus. Asparagus is one of the best things in the world to cook on a big green egg. The prep of it is pretty simple. I mean, you can get your grade school kids to do this. Just kind of come in and snap the asparagus where it snaps. And that's what we're gonna leave uh, for our prep. So it just takes a few minutes to go through this. Oh, sounds like the green egg's probably about ready. We wanna do a direct cook with asparagus. So we do this first before we set the plate setter in when we cook our pork chops. Cause if we did direct, we'd probably burn them. Uh, so we uh, want a grilled flavor, but not too much uh, carbon. So let's go check that egg. Well, the egg's at about 300 degrees. It's been going for about 15 minutes. So one of the things we want to do is add some, some olive oil here to our asparagus, just enough to, to coat everything. So our seasoning sticks well on that. So that looks about right. So I got this plate, which works real well for direct cooking on the egg. The biggest problem when you use something like asparagus is all the asparagus wants to fall through the grate. So you ideally want to have something to keep from burning up all your veggies uh, down below. This is a really nice plate. It's got holes in it so you can flame can come up through it and grill the asparagus nicely. Now I did recently see something. And there were these round cylinders that you could put you know, kind of wire that you could put your vegetables in keep them from falling through the grates and you could you know use something like that and it makes it real easy to turn things because you pick up the cylinder and kind of roll it around which is nice i just use a spatula here so you'll see so that's our setup then what we're going to do is come in and add some spices on this so we're pretty simple we come in with some black pepper on the top of it here This is a uh, coarse restaurant grade. Uh, and I'm gonna come in with some granulated garlic as well. And then add some salt onto the top of that. It's pretty simple. We're about 450 degrees, which is about perfect for cooking our chops and for our vegetables here. So we'll uh, get a nice direct flame we can drop our asparagus in there. And we'll give it a couple minutes. Okay, we've got about three minutes in here. Getting a nice charred. Whoops. talking grilled asparagus here so we've been on here for six minutes now getting some good don't want to cook it till it's charred now the size of your asparagus has a lot to do with how long you're going to cook it so some asparagus is going to be thinner some is going to be thicker this quite honestly is some thinner asparagus so i probably won't cook it quite as long as if we had some thicker stalks so quite honestly, I like the thinner stock ones, but you have to be careful because I've made them a little bit uh, crunchy in the past. The other thing is we've got a real strong flame here in the middle. Uh, so we may want to bring some stuff that was on the outer edge around. Probably about three more minutes will be good. So we've got some stuff that's pretty crunchy over here. So you may want to rotate it as well so we've been cooking around 350 to 400 we're uh, at the nine minute mark and I would say that it's well done we'll get our vote later on if it was too well done might have pulled it off a hair sooner. This is Mike Farley talking about barbecue tips. 
with asparagus, grilled asparagus here. So we're going to get it off the grill. Mike Farley had a great cook. Everybody's ready to eat. Hope you guys enjoy your evening. Uh, I've got a bunch of fans here that are ready to uh, enjoy my meal as well, but uh, it's mine. So it's Mike Farley, Barbecue Tips. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.